Happy Wednesday, friends, and welcome back for another story. Today's story that we're going to be reading is Diana Novella, A Prehistoric Fairy Tale by Pamela Duncan Edwards. Are you guys ready for our story today? Fantastic. Let's get started. Dora, Doris, and Diana Novella lived in the dunes in Dinosaur Den. Dora and Doris did nothing all day. They dumped debris all around the den. They never did the dusting or the dishes. Dinarella was dainty and dependable. Dora and Doris were dreadful to Dinarella. All day they demanded, Dinarella, dig in the garden. Dinarella, fetch us drinks. Dinarella, start the dinner. She's a dingbat, sniggled Dora. She's a dumbhead, giggled Doris. Are those kind words? Should we use those words? No. One day, a card was delivered to the den. Dinosaur dance, Duke Dudley's den at dusk. Duke Dudley was the most dashing dinosaur in the dunes. I would die for a date with the Duke, said Dora, decorating herself with dinosaur jewels. Definitely, sighed Doris, dulling herself up for the dance. A dance? said Dinarella. How divine. You can't go to the dance, said Doris. You're too drowdy. You're too dull, agreed Dora. And you don't have any decent dinosaur jewels. Of course, you can't go to the dance. Poor Dinarella fell down in the dumps as she watched her sisters depart. Suddenly, Dinarella heard a groaning noise. Don't be dismal, cried the fairy dactyl. You shall go to the dance. But I'm so drab, said Dinarella. And I don't have any decent dinosaur jewels. I'll soon deal with that, declared Fairy Dactyl. These will outdazzle the dinosaur any uh, dinosaur jewels. Darling Fairy Dactyl explained to Dinarella in delight. With her diamonds dangling, she set out to the dance. Dust had fallen when Dinarella heard a deafening disturbance coming from the direction of Duke Dudley's den. A startling deed was taking place. A Dino Raptus was dragging off the Duke. I'm done for, cried the Duke. Well, he will devour me. Indeed, I will, laughed the Dino Raptus. I'll be digesting you by daybreak. Dinorella was not a daring dinosaur, but sometimes drastic had to be done. I may become dessert, but I'm determined to drive away that dreadful carnival. Dinarella climbed into the top of the dune. You disgusting dummy, she roared. Drop the duke. Dinarella began to hurl dirt balls at the dinosaur. The dumbfounded dinosaur stopped in disbelief. Who called me a dummy, he demanded. The moon's light caught Dinarella's dangling diamonds. Dots and dabs of light darted towards the dinosaur. A devil, cried the dinosaur. See its dreadful diamond eyes. Dinarella detached the diamonds and directed it towards the dinosaur. The diamonds hit the dinosaur in the head. The devil will destroy me with its deadly eyes, bellowed the di distorted dinosaur. He dumped Duke Dudley and departed double quick. The den was dense with dinosaurs dashing about in distress. A demon, they cried. We're doomed. Dimwits roared the duke through the den. Demons don't throw diamonds. It was a daz damsel who defended me with her dazzling dinosaur jewels. When I discover her, I shall ask her to be my darling.
all the dinosaur dames were delirious. The jewel is mine, they each declared. Mine, cried Doris. No, definitely mine, bellowed Dora, giving Doris a bit, a dig. I am the da damsel you desire. I doubt it, declared da Duke Dudley. Your dinosaur jewels don't match. Just then, Fairy Dactyl arrived at the dance. She quickly saw the dilemma. Where is Dinarella? she demanded. Dinarella? scoffed Dora. That dopey... Di Dinarella, laughed Doris. She's back at the den. But Fairy Dactyl spied Dinarella dodging behind the dune. Dinarella, she directed, come down. So down came Dinarella, looking distracted. Cried the Duke, she wears one of the dazzling jewels. Dinarella, you are adorable. You're definitely quite a dish. I beg you to be my dearest. Dreamy, said Dinarella, as they danced off into the dawn. Drat, said Dora and Doris. I hope you enjoyed the story today, friends. And join me tomorrow for another story. We got two more days of stories and then it's summer vacation, friends. Bye.